Good day children. Welcome to today's class. Today we are going to learn a very interesting story in value education. Okay. Before we start, I am going to ask you something. Okay. Tell me which is the animal that moves very slow. It walks very slow. It moves very slow. Yes, you are right. It is a tortoise. Yes, a tortoise moves very slow. It walks very, very slow. And I will tell you something more about a tortoise. A tortoise is the longest living animal in the world. It is the longest living animal on the earth. Okay. It can live for more than 150 years. Okay. It can live for a very long time. Now, uh, tell me children. What is this? It is the shell. Yes, a tortoise has a hard shell on its back. And when there is some danger, what happens, you know? This tortoise, it can pull its head and neck inside its uh, shell and it can protect itself. Okay, it, so tortoise, they protect themselves by pulling their head in the shell. Okay, whenever there is a danger okay and the, it, the shell is very hard and it uh, looks like a stone nobody can realize that it's a tortoise okay so if there is some um, uh, danger somebody is trying to attack or something they cannot find out be, uh, that it's a tortoise because it looks like a the shell looks almost like a stone yes so nobody will realize that it's a tortoise because the uh, tortoise it can pull its head and neck in the inside the shell and it can hide under the shell so this is how the tortoise protects itself okay now one more question tell me um, which is a bird okay that is white in color it looks very beautiful can you name a bird that looks white in color think yes it's a swan yes swan looks very beautiful it's white in color it looks very beautiful very very beautiful and they are water birds okay these birds are water birds it has they have got a long neck okay can you see the neck of the swan a long neck and it's they've got a heavy body okay they've got a heavy body and they've got a they've got webbed feet okay you know how the webbed feet are ducks also have webbed feet yes they help them the webbed feet help them to swim in the water now the swans they can swim very fast in the water the swans they can swim very fast in the water and they can fly to a great height they can also fly to a great height okay so today's story is about a tortoise and his two swan friends okay so let's begin with the story the story is about the tortoise and his two swan friends okay so it is a lesson number five the tortoise and the swans <coughs> a tortoise by name kambugariva lived in a small lake it had two swan friends often the swans told stories of gods and rishis to the tortoise now once there lived a tortoise and what was his name his name was kambugariva okay he lived in a small lake now this tortoise had two swan friends okay uh, 
and this when friends they often told him stories about gods and rishis they were best friends okay they lived together and they talked to each other for a very long time <clears throat> once there was no rain for a long time and the lake dried up in that area in that particular place there was no uh, rain for a very long time and the lake was drying up there was no water now how can they live without water yes so the swans they asked the tortoises friend what will you do when there is no water left what will you do when there is no water we need water the, the lake is drying up so what will you do if there is no water left so what did the tortoise reply i am also worried i must go to some other place please bring me a light stick i shall cling to it with my teeth and you can fly me to some other lake now what did the uh, tortoise reply he was that he was also worried that there is no water and he wanted to go to some other place now if he wants to go to some other place and he will start walking how many days will it take for the tortoise to reach to the other place yes so many days because the water tortoise walks very slowly right so he had an idea so he told uh, his swan friends that you bring a small uh, thin long thin stick okay and i will cling it to the, i'll cling to the stick with my teeth okay he will hold the stick with the help of his teeth and the swans can carry him to the other lake <coughs> Uh, then what did the swans reply we will surely carry you but you must not open your mouth on the way okay right so if the tortoise is holding the stick with his mouth with his teeth okay and the swans are flying if the uh, tortoise will try to speak what will happen it will fall off yes so the the swans told him you should not open your mouth at all okay if you will open you will fall but what uh, happens we'll see ha huh? next <coughs> the swans brought bo- uh, brought a thin stick stick and carried the tortoise high up in the air can you see the swans they are f- uh, holding the sticks from the uh, two ends and the tortoise is clinging to the stick with its mouth in the middle see here at the end the to- two swans are holding the stick and the tortoise is clinging on the stick with the help of its teeth and they start flying as the three flew over the city the children noticed them and shouted now they were flying over a city and there were some children playing down so they noticed something is flying in the air something is flying in the air and they all started wondering they started looking up then they saw something in the uh, something about them and they started speaking they started telling look two swans are carrying some round object between them they all were sh- they and they all started shouting look at that look at that two swans are carrying something and all people collected to see the strange sight all people collected uh, the people who were working around the field they uh, all who were passing by they all stopped and they all were looking up at the swans what what was what were the swans carrying okay and then the children realize that it was a tortoise and they all start laughing ha 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 
it is a tortoise flying with the help of the swans ha 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 they started laughing they started laughing then they started teasing him it cannot walk fast and now it is flying we all know that tortoise cannot walk fast right and the children are teasing see he cannot walk fast so now he is flying <coughs> now the tortoise was becoming very angry he was getting very angry angry and he could not bear the teasing any more the tortoise could not bear the teasing any more the children were teasing him uh, and they were laughing at him so the tortoise was getting very angry he could not bear it okay the children teasing him <coughs> it opens it opened its mouth and lost its grip okay now he wanted to speak something he wanted to shout at the kids why are you teasing me and he opened its mouth and lost its grip yes and what happened it fell down and died thor it fell down and it died <coughs> the tortoise did not listen to the swans and it opened the mouth and it, uh, the tortoise fell down and the tortoise died now let's see the moral of the story lack of forbearance even leads to death sometimes lack of forbearance even leads to death sometimes now what do you mean by forbearance now see whenever you come across any difficulty you have any problem or you uh, may not like something you may disagree to something and uh, you are sometimes very angry you don't like certain thing but you have to be patient okay you have to be patient you have to be calm you have not to get angry you have to have self control over your anger how much ever angry you are you should not lose your temper okay you should not get angry you should have patience and you should have the ability of tolerance yes if there is any problem if there is anything you have to have the ability of tolerance you may not dislike something you may not uh, like somebody's behavior somebody's um, uh, way of doing things it's okay but you should have that ability of tolerance you must not show your anger you should not uh, be impatient you know, okay you should have that ability to bear certain things okay if there is some uh, something you should know how to control your anger you should bear you should bear some difficulties then only you will be able to succeed in life right nothing is easy you have to go through some difficulties then only you will be able to succeed in life right and uh, when you are doing uh, when you are uh, doing some work you will surely come across so many things where you will not like certain things you will not like somebody's behavior so you may not like uh, somebody doing certain things in a certain way so all this will come you have to face all this you have to keep yourself you calm you should be patient you should not get angry and you should try to sort out things instead of getting angry okay so this is the moral of the story i am going to give you one activity okay now today we learned a story of a tortoise and the swans yes so you can draw a tortoise see so beautiful such a beautiful draw uh, drawing tortoise three tortoises walking in a row okay i uh, in a bright sunshine and sun is shining so brightly so you can draw like this okay in your drawing book or whatever paper you have you can make a drawing like this you can either draw a tortoise or swan swimming in the water see it's looking so beautiful the picture is looking so beautiful isn't it so 
can draw any one drawing whatever you like okay and we'll continue in the next class we'll continue in the next class okay till then thank you children sairam